Dear Swissies, today we explore um, a new valley, but I have to say we were here in winter, but I cannot remember if, uh, if I've recorded something, um, because in winter this road was uh, closed for cars, so we had to hike down to the valley called Justistal. Yeah, but in summer it is allowed to drive on this road. Um, but it, <clears throat> because it is a private road, you need to uh, pay an amount of five Swiss francs, uh, and then you are able to stay here one day. Huh? Yeah, it is a very narrow road. And of course, other people can come up and down, like tourists or farmers or whatever. So be aware, okay? Don't drive too fast. The Justistal is famous because of uh, uh, the deers, the deer in autumn when they are horny. <laughs> Yeah, so um, people come and watch them, how they, you know? <laughs> yeah, maybe we can do it in autumn. But uh, in summer it is an Alp with many cows. And I'm curious if the cows are still in the valley or if they already went home. But I guess that they are still in the valley. I keep recording so you can see what you can expect when you drive on this road. The official way to the Justistal is from Sigriswil. Yeah. yeah, this is official too, but not many people know this road and it is probably easier to reach Justistal from the direction of Sigrisville. Huh? And I checked uh, Google Maps. <clears throat> I always check Google Maps when I don't know an area well, uh, if there is a parking uh, where I can park the car or not. Um, and there should be a parking. And as we are early, I guess that we will have no problem with a parking space. It is a not well-known valley, but hikers love it and in winter you are able to, oh, we have country cross, country cross skiing, <laughs> yeah, and uh, snowshoe hiking, yeah. Ooh, looks already nice over there. Looks already nice. Wow, crazy schön, huh? Yeah, it is not very touristic, but this is why I love it. I love valleys like this. You just, just can enjoy nature, hmm? as simple as it is. So somewhere here must be the parking. I will check. Yeah, I, I can see it over there. Ah, the cows are still here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's too, go too early to go down into the valley. So the parking is over there. 
This is now the road which you can take from Sigrisvi. And the parking is just around the corner. Voila. Yeah, where the stone is. Yeah. So many so many space. Which one shall I take? <laughs> yeah, I take this one. Okay. We are starting our hike. If we would go the whole valley, it would take about two hours. But I'm not sure if we go to the very end. We will see. Huh? What's got low stand? We hike up a little bit now. And uh, because it is a wild animal protecting area, Rasta is on a long leash. Yeah. We already have light over there on these mountains, but in the valley it is still shadow. You may be asked if I am not afraid of the wild animals, so bears and like that. But in this area we have no bears, no, maybe foxes or deer, except of the water bottle. In my backpack, it's totally silent here. Just a minute. Crazy, huh? You see now the sign spot? And you see the name Sichle. This is the very end of the valley. And there you can see a mountain chain called Sibahangste. They're kind of seven male horses. <laughs> Yeah, but I've never been there. Yeah, Maluage Vito Sois bringt. Imagine now in autumn when the deer are roaring. Huh? Yeah, with maybe echo from the from the mountains around. Ah, oh, that must be a spectacle. Can you see the tower over there? And do you maybe remember? Yes, this is the tower from Niederhorn, where we were lately. Soon the sun will be here in the valley. Ah, you can see the moon over there. Can you see him? Yeah, on the right. The small white ball. This is not a restaurant. This is an Alp. But you can go up and ask for some Alp cheese to buy. Yeah, they are very happy about it. Oh, I love those mountain fountains. Huh? It looks like a fish. Yeah, a fish and a beaver. You see it? <laughs> yeah, all the small details, huh? Look, this is a, a kind of Alp horn. Huh? Nice. Crazy schön. So big. <laughs> yeah, two Alphorns. They are the bridge. Huh? And you maybe ask if they uh, heat the house in summer. But I guess this is because they produce the Alp cheese. Yeah, they need some fire, you know. Sometimes this kind of silent beauty makes me cry. You know why? Because there's so much bad in the world. And I just think it would be so easy, you know? Uh, yeah, it makes me sad and happy at the same time. How oh, well, I Oh, drink some water. Wasser trinken. Hmm? Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Drink. We never know when it is the last time. Huh? You see these huge stones? Yeah, they came from Niederhorn, I guess. Oh, they have a nice cow life here, huh? Yeah. They re eat now. Wiedergooien. <laughs> we call them Wiedergooien. Oh, there's a bull over there. Crazy. Huh? 
Hi, Mo. <laughs> All the, the big cowbells. Whoa, they look so heavy. So we will soon see if this is a Paitsli or not. Huh? Otherwise, we have to hike back. And it's okay, because it was so nice. Unfortunately, they open at lunchtime. Yeah. So that's why we have to hike back. Oh. Oh, unlucky today. Nothing to eat, nothing to drink. The Beitzlis are closed, so the next time we take our food <laughs> with us and we hike up more a little bit. Huh? Then we go up to the Siebhangste. Yeah, this is the plan for the next time. Huh? The cows are awake now. Huh? Yeah, time for their job to eat the grass. And this is the bull, the big bull. The valley looks also nice with some sunlight, isn't it? After about well, two and a half hours hiking up and hiking down, we are back where we started. Yeah, and now we go home. I hope you enjoyed it. It was something different, huh? But I loved it. So we say goodbye. Goodbye to the wonderful Eustace stall. And I'm sure I will be back in autumn or in winter. Huh? Yeah, because this is a, a little pearl, I think. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>